Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Leo weekly money and career reading from August 21st to the 27th, 2023. Leos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Leos weekly money and career august 21st to the 27th 2023 okay let's see what we have here eight of swords ace of swords oh let me put a little light on i apologize i always forget because it's very hot okay here we go eight of swords let me just make sure this is in the right place. Okay. Ace of Swords. So, if you were stuck, well, there we go. Five of Cups. In a disappointment, a job, a situation, something that didn't go your way or something you expected, maybe a negotiation, maybe a prom promotion, maybe you thought you were gonna get responsibilities within that job, maybe you were gonna get that job, maybe you were going to get that loan or that money or something to start your project, your business, something. You're finding clarity on that, that it, because it has been a while where you're sort of stagnated or stuck in that same, that same energy of disappointment and of thinking that, yes, that that had to be that way, or you thought that that idea had to be develop, developed that way, or your job responsibility had to be something, you know, specific. And it's sort of stumbling over and over on that disappointment. And finally, with this Ace of Swords, you're finding clarity with a team, with a team of people, or a new business, or a new project here with the Three of Pentacles. You are starting something new. I love this. So it can be either clarity on a situation where finally you're understanding where this is going, or why it took so long, or why it was stagnating, or why it was over and over the same people making those those decisions, that's the way I feel. I feel a little frustration here where you waited and waited and all these people were making decisions that made no sense to you. That's the way it feels right now. But here with the Ace of Swords, you're shifting. So either you're shifting to something new, but for me, it really feels like finally I understand what's going on. Finally, I'm with a team of people that understand what's going on and now we can build forward with the High Priestess. Now we can sort of settle down, digest this whole thing, and take the time to reflect, to study these ideas, to develop these ideas, or to develop this project, or to invest ourselves in, in a clearer way, in a more serene way, in a more serene um energy environment maybe now finally you're with the right people and i think that also um it, it feels like this set of people or this team or this new company it could be a company it can be a, you know maybe it's a business you had started and you didn't find the right people to work with or it can be you joining a new team or the renewal of a team, whatever it is, right? It can be different. It'll be different for everyone. But with this high priestess is, yes, you're, you can now dive in, right? Delve in to this project, to this idea, or to this, whatever it is that you're working on. Um, and, and think, better on it right find better ideas uh, because the people surrounding this or the people working on this have a better idea they have more knowledge so you're gathering more knowledge the doors are open to these people that have experience and it feels like finally it's the right people on the right project that really have experience and knowledge and in that maybe before they didn't yes Wow, there you go. Double aces here. Ace of cups, 
which finally it's the right platform. So maybe it's your idea that you're trying to develop or your project, you pitched a project or you've had a project or an idea for a while and finally you found the right team. Finally, you're on the right platform, like-minded people where people will listen to you, people will check out your ideas, right? People will um, see you for your talent and see your talent where you can express yourself freely, you know, in a, in a very creative way. Here we are with the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant. So not only are you in the right place with like-minded people working on a beautiful project, it feels very interesting and it feels like there's a lot of work to do still, but now you're with the right team on the right platform. And so is there someone there that has redirected this, that has taken it in his hands, his or, his or hers? It feels like someone, someone here, it can be a mentor, it can be a teacher, it can be a spiritual leader. It can just be someone with experience and knowledge and beautiful intuition to sort of pull it all together and pull the right team together. Someone generous, generous with their time and their soul. Um, it, it's, it's someone almost bringing a stamp of approval on this project. Who is bringing a stamp of approval? Leos, comment down below. Let me know what this is all about. Because it feels like now finally you're finding your 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 platform. Or finally, you know, you're going to be able to develop this or make this happen. Because you're with the right people. Right team of people. Right experience. Right knowledge. Right with the, with the Ace of Cups. And it's, almost, it's like the utter joy of finally finding that place. It feels so perfect when we realize that we do have talent, but that all along, maybe we were just not right, not at the right place or not with the right people or not the right company, right? And, and there you have everybody understanding who you are and shining light on your talent. Look at this and the star, beautiful, absolutely amazing, Leo. Look at this and my energy has just changed from frustration, stagnation, to, wow, this is amazing. Um, finally, people, it, it, it becomes fluid, right? It's, it's almost, it's the synchronicities with the Wheel of Fortune. Finally, these energies are moving forward naturally because you're in the right place. And you can heal at the same time. And automatically, these energies are calmer, much calmer, much less frustrating because Everything is organic. And so here we have with the Wheel of Fortune, it's exciting. It's exciting because it's a new dynamic. All of a sudden it's becoming faster, faster movement forward. It's really the, ch the chance to turn luck, turn luck on your side with a beautiful opportunity. It's almost like cease the day, Leo, cease the day. It's the moment to cease the day. It really is because what a shift, what a shift of energy this is to find these people, to uh, be there at the right moment with the Wheel of Fortune. And I love the Wheel of Fortune. It's, um, it's understanding that things change constantly. And, but, it's the return of the good karma, the return of the positivity, the excitement, and the excitement of connecting the dots, right? With the synchronicities popping in. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is all about. Movement forward, forward the new dynamic, and the excitement. Yes, it's a constant change, right? Yes, but the Wheel asks you to be optimistic, and I feel very optimistic all of a sudden, as you push this forward, because you have much more faith in yourself, in the universe, and then you're sending out these positive energies and, and you're expanding, you're expanding your job, your life, your, your career or your knowledge here. I, I feel like it's almost these people or this team or this company, whatever it is, um, is giving you so much all of a sudden, 
you can gain knowledge from these people and all of a sudden you can open up open up to their help open up to help of others and it's almost like you it's not that you stumble into this but this is not something you were you expected or you didn't think it was going to be that um that big of a change right and it's so if you're someone that likes control um you know, these people are really influencing your project. They're really influencing the speed at what this is at, at, at what this is going to be done. If that makes sense. Um, and they're 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 speeding up the movement because they have so much knowledge, because they have so much experience. And so this is might be influencing you at a speed that you didn't think but um adapt go with the flow uh, this is something really suddenly becoming so interesting and also being able to stabilize you with the star right all of a sudden okay this is it i don't have to hide anymore or i don't have to make believe anymore i don't have to dupe anymore this is sort of me um I can, it's a free communication, right? Um, uh, beautiful dialogue, beautiful conversations, and clarifying a situation that was so stagnating before and so difficult and misunderstood before that now I can develop my dream, my job, my idea, my project with the right people. And it becomes very clear with the Ten of Cups, it's bringing you back serenity, harmony in your family, in your environment. You trust these people you trust this situation as opposed to before you, you had this sort of permanent permanent disappointment um with the because you felt stuck or misunderstood right it wasn't the right place or the right people good for you leo redirecting movement forward absolutely amazing opening up your your opportunities opening up your knowledge and also understanding now how important your idea is, how important you are, right? Your confidence is boosted. Yes, five of swords. Yeah, the ego battles before we are still remaining in the disappointing situation. And we have the king of cups. The seven of swords you battled, battled people you, that didn't understand you and battled people that you didn't trust or you don't trust or they don't understand you or you don't want to deal with them because they let you down or you picked up slack for them or you know they took you for granted whatever the list you know I'm not going to give you the whole laundry list but that's the way it feels you're now regaining control of your emotions now you're much more balanced you can filter your emotions and stabilize whatever it is stabilize and prioritize and make the right decisions because you're in the right place with the right people finally you're excited and you're comfortable. You're becoming comfortable financially. You're recovering. It's sort of that freedom, that freedom of choice, that independence, that financial independence, but also that choice, uh, that independence of choice, right? You be yourself. You're proud to be yourself and you're very comfortable with where you stand now after getting rid of this nonsense. Saying nonsense, you know, um, uh, six of six of cups so I feel like this is going to be in the past I'm going to pull one more card to see if you're going back to something but I don't well you can either be going back to a team or a company or that beautiful platform where you feel comfortable and maybe you went out on a limb and tried something else and took a job somewhere else or worked with other people or worked in another city or in another environment, whatever it is, right? It could be different for everyone. And that didn't work out. And you don't want to deal with that anymore. That was not a good fit. And now you're going back to your favorite place to build. Hmm. King of Wands. There you are. Building, creating. Um, I'm trying to figure out, I, I think that, I think that the six of cups is you in the past, right? Ridding yourself of that, or you had the nostalgia of the past and now you're going to that. 
King of Swords, King of Wands, Clarity. Why is the Six? I usually don't do this, but Leo, I'm curious. Why is the Six of Cups there? Give me a clear card on the Six of Cups for Leo. Money and Career, August 21st. Clear, thank you. Oh, you saved your money for that. You don't want to go back in the past, or you do? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. You saved your money to, yeah, justice. Yeah, I, yeah, you're, you're, you're moving forward, and you're moving forward for the best cause, for your highest good, right? That's what the justice is all about, making that decision and um, understanding that this is where you belong in this new tribe, in this new group. This is a change. This is a change of destiny. This is a, a solid change, really. And um, you can be moving, moving, moving. It feels like you're moving, moving um, um, locations, moving job locations. It doesn't have to be a different job or a different career, but it really definitely feels like moving locations you and your family or you know whatever family means for you with the justice big big decision here to relocate or something like that to be with that right tribe good for you good for you leo beautiful all right now let's see if there's one last message for the road knight of cups yes i'm, I'm gonna leave it at that moving forward on a creative project movement forward it's emotional for you, but it's a beautiful, beautiful um, project or job where, you know, it's, it's about understanding that all your efforts, all your emotions are put into movement, into this new life, this new project, this new job, this new location. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Leo's. Uh, it's very energetic at the end. It's beautiful at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did, Leo's. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below. Let me know where you stand on your journey. Let me know what this is all about, Leo's. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, you are in the top three, Leo's. Amazing, amazing. Thank you for supporting this channel. Just put a heart down below if you don't wish to share, which I completely understand not everybody wants to share their lives on these platforms um have a great week leos uh, and uh, if you're interested you can check out the leo tarot message reading which is a more general energy reading a timeless reading if you want to pop over there and check that out thank you so much for watching have a great week leos take care